Good morning. Good morning. We are going to head to the Luxembourg Gardens, but first, breakfast. Breakfast, of course. Mm -hmm. Alicia found this really cute cafe. It's beautiful out. It's one of the cooler days, so we're sitting outside. It's pretty cheap as well. We're getting omelets for, I think, nine euros a person, which is wonderful. That was delicious. So good. And the cheapest meal we've had so far. Definitely great food for the price. Would definitely recommend to anybody. Absolutely. I knew everybody spoke English here, but their English is better than ours. Like, it's incredible how just more intelligent everybody around the world is than Americans. <laughs> it's just so impressive to hear people speak not just two but like three or four languages in it's their english they unbelievable. don't even have a french accent when they speak it i'm like wow blown away <laughs> but now to the gardens here we go look what we stumbled upon i almost forgot about the fire that happened a couple years ago Unfortunately, you still can't go in, but it is almost done being restored, which is wonderful. Would have been absolutely tragic for this to go up in flames. It's actually gonna be opened, I think, in 2024, so maybe just a couple months on top of all that. Also, this has to be like the hunchback of Notre Dame, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I looked at the gargoyles and I was like, oh my God, this reminds me of the movie. And then I'm like, wait a second. The movie is based off of this. Or maybe it's the other way around. Okay, now we're actually headed to the gardens. This is so beautiful. There are so many people enjoying this. There's these like mini toy sailboats that everybody's sailing with a bunch of different flags of countries. It's just beautiful. I love the square trees. It reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Have the famous Saint Chapelle, named after the famous Dave Chappelle, of course. <laughs> so we just arrived to the catacombs and it just started raining, but that's okay because we're about to go underground.
So, as we expected, the mass graves would usually do to conflict, famine, but mainly the Black Death. There was too many bodies, and it was becoming a health hazard up above ground, so they decided to bury them down back in like the 1300s. That was chilling. Super spooky. I mean, I'm pretty much speechless. It's hard to wrap your brain around the fact that every single one of those was a person, <laughs> and now this is their designated resting area. It is so eerie down there. Just everything, the layout, the lighting. It's, it's hard to put into words what we just saw. It is probably my number one recommendation for Paris. That was incredible. So we decided to end our day by going back to the Eiffel Tower and having a little photo shoot and it was pretty fantastic. And now we're gonna eat some dinner that we got at the grocery store for some quick salads with an incredible view if I do say so myself.